Join us for part two of our US road trip adventure and we make it to Gatlinburg where we try some moonshine. <sighs> that has got... That is literally... That has got like indigestion written all over it. Absolutely yeah. not. And discover we may have been the only English people to ever have visited. It doesn't smell of weed, so it's not authentic. <laughs> Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can see what we get up to. Road trip day two. On our way to Gatlinburg. And um, you can see the Smoky Mountains in the background. It's very, very cool. We're about 20 minutes away from Gatlinburg. Yeah, you can go on the little swing. This is our hotel yes. we're staying at. This is, what's it called again? Brookside. Oh. Uh, Brookside. And look at the back. How beautiful is this? This is stunning. And again, really cheap. Little cabins and log cabins. So we are in Gatlinburg now, and so far so good. We've checked into our hotel. Well, we haven't checked in. We can check in a bit later. But it looks really nice, doesn't it? It looks really nice. The grounds yeah, are the beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna have a nose round, go and play some uh, crazy golf find an hour in bar and uh, head up in there later for St. Patrick's Day. interested in I'm so interested in the whole um, prohibition and moonshine and all that sort of thing and there's loads of stuff around this area about it and lots of um, breweries and different things that sort of commemorate and celebrate moonshine so that's really cool and look up there we've got the uh, ski lift type buses and this is where hopefully we're going tomorrow and a Kesta shops are really really cool it's a really cool place it looks busy though as well oh margaritaville resort right there they had one of these in uh what's uh pigeon forge yesterday yeah. Ski lifts. I've never been on one. Have you, Nikki? No, I haven't. Now it's going to be a first. 
So yeah, we're going to have to check that out tomorrow. Um, I think obviously that's the way to get up to the mountain, I'm guessing, which is going to be cool. Really looking forward to that, are you? I'm really excited about the big, the big bridge as well. Yeah, me too. Um, oh my God, it's really high. Yeah. It's okay, I'll look after you. <laughs> this is a really cool town. So far what I've seen is really cool. Well worth coming. I'm going to say we'll have to just check and book in. Hopefully tomorrow though, when we go, it's not going to be as busy. Aquarium. Ripley's believe it or not. What's over here? So maybe we're going to go to the aquarium. We're not 100% sure yet. Depends how we're strapped for time. But look, it's just so cool. And the queue for Anacosta is big. But definitely looking forward to that tomorrow. This is the VIP cider tasting. We haven't had any breakfast yet, but. So, I'll start us off today with watermelon. Y'all like watermelon? Yeah. Yep. So this right here tastes just like, you know, you know Jolly Ranchers? No. <laughs> wow, okay, so it's kind of like a candy, okay? okay? So it tastes just like watermelon. Give it a try. It's going to be very refreshing, perfect in the summertime. Cheers. So all of our ciders are 7%. Cheers. 1%? Seven. Yeah, 1% is the cider you drink. That is Generally nice. Generally more like 4.5, yeah. 5%. So these are a bit stronger. Yeah. yeah. So That's these are delicious. The seven. Um, ciders, the legal limit is 7%. Yeah. So we push for that. Yeah. Um, they do stronger ones in the UK, but um, I don't. I don't generally drink them because they make me badly behave. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like that. Maybe a bit too sweet for me. Not for me. Next up, golden apple. This one's more, this more one, traditional. This one will be my. This yeah. one will be my we thing. We do have a drier one as well. It's called dry red. I think that one might yeah. be my thing. But golden apple. It's a little sweeter first. Tart on the back end. Welcome in, guys. You want to try some cider? Yeah. Come on over. Mm. It's okay, it just tastes a bit bland after the watermelon, doesn't it? Yeah. So they do it all here. Really cool. Nikki's favourite place. It tasted a little bit bland after the watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. But so still next up is a little sweeter one. This is the first ever blue cider I ever wow. saw. It's, it's called blue that. raspberry. Okay. This looks oh, like okay. WKD blue. It's perfect in a slushie, I think it looks like and it's toilet. really good if you mix vodka and Sprite. Oh, I think it oh, looks like toilet cleaner. <laughs> it tastes like WKD blue. If you're from England, you know what we're talking about. That is absolutely disgusting. I'm not even going to finish that. Oh, I like it. It's like WKD Blue. Bit of wicked. That's horrible. No. I can't even. No. Okay. Next up is the Jolly Rancher. Oh, yeah. 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 This is a great breakfast. So you come in here and buy me merchandise. Well worth it for $5 each. Look. Yeah. Oh, worth it, five dollars each. Really quirky. 
I liked it. It's like so. It's like something that we get at home called WKD Blue. Yeah, I'll drink it. And you said it tastes like what else? Something called WKD Blue. So it's like a alco pop. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, so it's but it's alcoholic pop. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah, and this right here is caramel apple. So it's still the apple at first, little caramel on the back end. It tastes just like a caramel apple stuff. Have you ever had it? This tastes. Oh, it tastes like a bit like. Archers. Peach, like an archer's snaps. Oh, that's disgusting as well. <laughs> no, not for me. Mm. No, you can drink that as well. No, I don't want any more. I mean, I'm not even. Oh, I liked it, but I've got a sweet tea. This right here, black and blue. This is our number one seller. It's a mix of blackberry and blueberry. In my opinion, it's a little tart at first, sweeter on the back end. It's our number one seller. It's also a top 10 national cider, so the whole US. Well, see, I prefer that. I like that because it's got that sharpness, but not so sweet. Yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Not really my cup of tea. Side, I full stop. You seem to be managing okay. Oh, I haven't had any breakfast. It's a cup of coffee. That for me in the morning. What is it? This the purple. Yes, yeah, so I'm yeah. telling you. So what's this red apple, yeah. hard cider? Oh, Look at the bubbles on it as well. Bubbly cider. That's what I've been missing the whole time I've been here. Try that. That's kind of. I don't know. I don't like that. That tastes like. Well, that tastes like scrumpy. Yeah, I don't like that. That tastes like scrumpy. It's got a perfume taste to that. Yeah, scrumpy. How is it? She like, not for it me. It's like what we would call like scrumpy, which would be like your moonshine sort of cider. Oh, okay. What we would brew at home. Yeah, that's, that's very dry. Yeah, no, no. Which one do you want? This one right here? Little bit of peaches. And then like that. You literally taste the fermented air. It's just so fresh, guys. That smells really good. So all of our cider is gluten free. Uh, all of our cider is gluten free. Natural fruits and juices. No artificial flavors at all. The only one artificial is raspberry. Yeah, I'm yeah. not feeling that one. No, you're fine. That's got a tight, it's not for me. Mm -mm. See, I like that as well. No. Yeah. Two opposites attract sweet and sour. Yeah, I like that. No. Nope. You like the cider here? Or peach Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Did y'all try cider here? No. All right, cideria. A little salt, a little long. In my opinion, it's perfect to mix with your favorite alcohol. You know. So what flavor is this? It's cideria, so it's like margarita. I gotta show you. You like margaritas? A little yeah. salt, a little lime, you know? Yeah. Try that out. No, you're not gonna like that. I can tell by the smell of it. <laughs> oh my god, nice. Yeah. I don't like that at all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that a Yeah. Absolutely not. I thought you were drinking that. Huh. That has got. That is literally. That has got like indigestion written all over it. Absolutely not. No, not that, is, that one. No, not for me. That's probably the worst. Yeah. Cider Rita. That is horrible. You don't like Cider Rita. <laughs> no. That's a no from us, that one. Are you okay? <laughs> you tried oh, that one? Yeah. Cider Donut. This is our newest invention. Cider donut. Yeah. This will be for you. Little apple, little I'm, all for, I'm all for a donut. Yeah. I love a donut. It's a little kick better, guys. Some people say cream soda. Yeah, it tastes like cream soda. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't choose it. I don't like it. It reminds me of something not nice. No, that works. She's drinking that. I really like that. Right here. One more to try. Let's hope yeah, it's good. Which one did you like best so far? The watermelon was my favourite. Last but not least, let's hope it's this. Like strawberry soda. I wouldn't say it tastes like grandma's candy, but y'all probably don't know what those candies are. It's like a little strawberry candy. 
in a little wrapper, it looks like a real strawberry. And when you open it and eat it, it has a little filling, a little strawberry filling. Right. But yeah, good. Good. Right, guys, it's good. Yeah, I like that. That tastes like recordling. Yeah, recordling. We have something at yeah. home called uh, strawberry recordling. Yeah. So it's like a lemon and lime they won. If you get the chance to look, it's really, really nice. Yeah, that tastes like that, doesn't it? Yeah. You said it's a little strawberry with lemon and lime? Yeah. Strawberry with lime, yeah. Always mixing them up now. Good old scratch that one, isn't it? So little rooftop bars. I really like it here. So do I. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, so this is the village. We're going to cross over to the village. We will eat at some point, I'm sure. If we don't come across all the bar beforehand. Quick. Founded in 1969, 27 shops. Now look, they have a candy kitchen there, so they actually make all the candy. Ah, oh, this is my downfall. It's gonna make fudge or something yummy. Oh look, there's taffies. Smoky Mountain taffies. I think that's what they're gonna make. Oh, look, they've got a little leprechaun over there. Celtic heritage. And they're getting ready for Easter by the looks of it. Look, the little bunnies. This is such a beautiful little place. If you ever get the chance, come and visit it. So this shop here is apparently fine gifts from Ireland, Scotland and Wales. So we're gonna have good luck now. I hope so. More than we already have. Oh, we're already very lucky because we got each other. Because we got each other. I, I knew, knew you, you were gonna to say that. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. A bit like that advert. We want to be together. Oh God, you're aging us now by saying that.
So I think that goes out to a car park. That's me, look, the lazy one of Gartlenburg. <laughs> oh, it's donuts. Go through. So yeah guys if you ever get the chance definitely come and visit down at the village. Where? Authentic. No. Oh my god, the smell from that shop. Popcorn. I wish it had smellogram because. <laughs> smell of vision. Uh, smell of vision, whatever. <laughs> it is just. Smell of tube. I don't know. You know, like in <laughs> Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, that. <laughs> That's smell of vision. So it's smell of vision. Oh, okay, they well. Didn't have they didn't have smell of gram. Oh my god, the smell is <laughs> unreal. There's a little Celtic pub there, look. Apparently this is an Irish pub. Yeah, Celtic pub. I think it'd be rude not to go in. You'd better go into a Celtic pub, hadn't you? Really? It'd be rude not to. But this is where they make the taffy, I believe. I'm not going to lie, I want to eat it. where they do the old smoke and moonshine, Nicola. Where have we been for the last two hours? An Irish bar. Of course we have, made some friends. What have we been drinking? <laughs> so you can get your moonshine from here and they do trials and stuff. Come on, find me some food, woman. And they've got Earthquake Ride there. This is honestly really worth visiting town. named after Nikki, Fanny's Kitchen. <laughs> Smoked sausage, she likes that. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah. It really is a beautiful day. Cookie, my favorite, I love a cookie. If my sister was here, I'm sure she'd be straight in there because she likes a cookie too. I haven't had breakfast. I've not eaten breakfast. So they've got a cider house here as well. I think this is probably another cider tasting. Oh yeah, another cider tasting house. We've done our cider tasting for the week. Oh God. She's looking for tops. There's just so much to do here. Mini golf, schoolhouse. see over in the distance at the sky lift. Food. I want to buy a piece of tap to wear and you keep not letting me. 
Hey, Faith. It's a great place to come for kids as well because they've got skate rooms and everything. Look at that, like the old water mill. Famous Johnny Rockets over there and a loco burro, which is the Mexican. Oh, okay, so this is where the sky park is. old time photos in there. Ladies, steakhouse is open if you're hungry. I've got burgers, tindin, steaks on the grill, 30 items on the boat. Mexican it is. Oh, sit you. Top. Pretty reasonable prices. It's like seventeen, eighteen dollars for fajitas and enchiladas and things like that. So I ordered a burrito. Like, why do they in the US do they have to just cover everything in this random white sauce that doesn't taste of anything? I don't really get it. But you know, we'll give it a go. Haley ordered fajitas, which is just chicken there. Look some rice and refried greens. Mine came with some salsa and stuff but yeah this the, the cheese sauce that doesn't taste of cheese I just don't really get but let's go. We just ate lunch here. Food. It's really good. Yeah. Right. One of the nicer meals that we've eaten here. Don't you think? We liked it. <laughs> Give it a go. So we're just going to check into our room. 119. It's very nice. 
little bathroom, bath, shower, all good, cupboard, my wife, oh can you hear the water, look, look, two double beds, you've got a fridge, a microwave, even got a fireplace, oh can't wait to light that up. And look at this view from our little room. How cool is this? And they've got fire pits all around. So over here they've got fire pits as well. And you can go and get an all you can eat breakfast for $5. What do you think, Nikki? I love it. The water has just done it for me. So we've come in the moonshine place. How are we going to do in the moonshine? Oh my god. Yeah, so girls. I get my wrists around them. Thank you. Say so, hey, what are we going to do? Uh, this is a uh, moonshine tasting. Moonshine tasting. It's going to be interesting. Do you want to join my tea party? What do I want to join? Do you want to join my tea party? I want to join your tea party. These are all the different ones you get. Let's give this moonshine in a go. We just love it here. You get the chance to come to Gatlinburg. Join us next time as we head up the mountain and then back down again very fast on day two of our Gatlinburg adventure. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can see what we get up to.